So in this series, I'm going to take you on a journey and explore one of the most important tables ever created. Now I'm not talking about the round table at Camelot, where King Arthur sat with Lancelot and his knights. Nor am I talking about any times tables that you learn or are currently learning in school. Which are important though. Nor am I talking about this table right here. I am talking about the periodic table of the elements. And to start this journey, we need to start with something small. Something very, very, very small. So if you're ready, explorers, let's go. Hey there, and welcome to Simple Home Science. My name's Chris, and on this channel we do experiments, science vlogs, and documentary style videos just like this one to help make science simple, fun, and educational for children of all ages. And if you're new to this channel and you want to join us on this journey, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. So let's get to it, shall we? So in this particular video, we're going to look at atoms. But what are atoms? Atoms are the building blocks that make up everything in the universe. From this table, to me, to the camera that I'm filming this video on. Everything is made of atoms. There are many different types of atoms. Each has its own name. We call these elements. And these elements are organised on the periodic table, which we will be focusing more on in the next video. Atoms are incredibly small, many, many, many thousand times smaller than human hair. Even though atoms are incredibly small, they are made up of three even smaller particles. Protons, neutrons, and electrons. Together, these are collectively known as subatomic particles. The protons and neutrons are located in the centre of the atom, called the nucleus. The electrons move around the nucleus in a type of cloud that contains shells and orbitals. Protons are positively charged and the number of protons that the element has determines which element it is. If it's got 8 protons, it's oxygen. 11 protons, sodium. 79 protons, it's gold. We'll build more on this in the next video. Neutrons are neutral, they don't have any electrical charge, but they are important for keeping the atoms stable. Protons basically don't like being near each other. The positive charges repel each other. Much like when you get two magnets and you put them together, they just won't go together. The neutrons are like the caretakers of the nucleus. They keep the protons in line, make sure they're on their best behaviour. Without the neutrons, the atom would just tear itself apart. The more protons that the element has, the more neutrons that are needed to keep the atom stable. Together, the protons, which are positively charged, and the neutrons, which are neutral, give the atom a positive charge. Electrons, where all the interesting chemistry stuff happens, are negatively charged, and are very, very tiny compared to the much larger protons and neutrons. They're about 1,800 times smaller. They whiz around the nucleus very, very quickly in a space known as the electron cloud. This cloud contains shells and orbitals, which is basically the space for the electrons to move in. Depending on the element, some electrons are closer to the nucleus, some are much farther away in different layers. These layers are known as electron shells, and these shells are what contain the electron orbitals. But why doesn't the atom just fall apart? In physics, there are four fundamental forces. Gravity, electromagnetism, the strong nuclear force, and the weak nuclear force. Three of these forces help to keep the atom together. Electromagnetism helps keep the negatively charged electrons attached to the positively charged nucleus. The strong nuclear force helps keep the protons and the neutrons together in the nucleus. And the weak nuclear force controls how the atom decays over time. So in the next video, we're going to talk more about the elements themselves and the periodic table and the scientists who created it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like. It really does help the channel out. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. Click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And until next time, see ya.